Hey everyone, Derek here from Addictive Tips. I'm going to show you how to update your Corsair keyboard firmware. So to start off, you're going to need to install CKB Next. Now to do that, you can go to the link in the description and find the installation instructions for your distribution. Now I use Arch Linux, so I'm going to do the AUR, and that's just CKB Next like so. Let me let it show up here. Now I already have it installed, but just for the fun of it, let's reinstall it. And it'll just take a couple of seconds. So, I'm done compiling, I'm going to enter my password, and uh, CKB Next is up and running, and I can find it in my app menu, and open it up here. Now it's going to tell me that the daemon isn't running, and you can do that, you can fix that with just a sudo systemctl enable ckb next daemon you can also start it and uh, do that click OK and you need the daemon running because otherwise you won't be able to access your devices and, and all the other stuff and work with it so once you've got it open you need to find your device now I have a K55 RGB keyboard it's got the uh, the lighting and all of that and I can mess with the lighting here if I want to, but that's not important. What we need to find is the device section. Now my firmware says it's up to date, but I can also select one manually. But that's not the point. I, I can't roll back my firmware just to show you what to do, so we're going to pretend that it's not up to date. So what you would do is you select your device, then you go to the device tab and you find status. You click the you click this button. If it's not up to date, it will show you a different word on it and it'll say update, you click it, it will download and apply the firmware. And that's pretty much it. It works with most Corsair devices. I have a Corsair mouse that I don't use anymore that it also works with uh, the Harpoon. Uh, my headset that I use uh, doesn't work with it, but they're adding new stuff all of the time. So if you want to update your firmware on the, and you have a Corsair keyboard, this is what you do on Linux. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little video and I will see you in the next one.